Hello everyone, it's Julie here from Vancouver Island Regional Library with another baby time for you today. I'm so happy you could join us. Um, I hope all your babies are looking forward to our little baby time as well. <laughs> all right, let's get straight into it. And we'll start today with we clap and sing hello. So this is one where we can help baby do the actions. So we're gonna clap our hands for part of it. We're gonna do some waving and then we're gonna do some little stomping of the feet. So it goes like this. We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. Hi ho the dairy o oh. We clap and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. Hi ho the dairy o oh. We wave and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. Hi ho the dairy o oh. We stomp and sing hello. Oh, brilliant. Let's do it one more time. We wave and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. Hi ho the dairy o oh. We wave and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. Hi ho the dairy o oh. We clap and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. Hi ho the dairy o oh, we stomp and sing hello. Wonderful. Yay! Hopefully all of your babies enjoyed that one. All right, time for some Tommy thumbs, I think. So this is the one where we can use our own thumbs if we want and act it out for baby and do some little tickles or touches on baby, or we can uh, use baby's little hands and manipulate them a little bit, whichever way you want to do it and whichever way your baby likes it done. So here we go, Tommy Thumbs. Tommy Thumbs are up and Tommy Thumbs are down. Tommy Thumbs are dancing, dancing all around. Dance them on your shoulders, dance them on your head. Dance them on your tummy and tuck them into bed. Fantastic, well done, well done. All right, so what else shall we do today? What about some five little monkeys jumping on the bed? That is such a fun one to do. Yeah, all right, so we'll do that one. It's a good counting one too, um, as they start to get older and are taking in numbers when they're, you know, toddlers in preschool. So it's one you can use with any age group. Um, you know, if you've got preschoolers at home, they really like doing the jumping up and down and, you know, falling and getting bumped on the head, that kind of thing. So different ways to do it with different age groups. This one for babies, I'm just gonna do it as a little bounce. So here we go. Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Four little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Three little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Two little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. One little monkey jumping on the bed. He fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Well done, everybody. And of course, if your baby doesn't like to be bounced or is a little bit young, doesn't know how to hold their head up yet. Um, you can also just use hands or you can have baby laid down and use hands, all different ways. You can do it with different ages for sure. All right, I'm gonna put baby aside for a minute. And since we just did five little monkeys jumping on the bed, maybe we could try a different uh, monkey rhyme. This is one that I've done in some story times, I think in the past, in some baby times in the past. And this is the Itsy Bitsy Monkey. So it's the same tune as the Incy Wincy Spider, but it's gonna be an Itsy Bitsy Monkey. And it goes like this. 
The itsy bitsy monkey climbed up the coconut tree. Down came a coconut and fell on his knee. Out came a lion shaking his mighty mane and the itsy bitsy monkey climbed up the tree again. <laughs> One more time. The itsy bitsy monkey climbed up the coconut tree. Down came a coconut and fell on his knee. Out came a lion shaking his mighty mane and the itsy bitsy monkey climbed up the tree again. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Wonderful, thanks everyone. Thank you. Okay, I brought a few stuffed animals with me today and I thought we could do to market to market with them, um, which can be done as a bounce or it can just be done as a little rhyming. Um, you know, sit still kind of rhyme. Um, I'll do it as a little bounce today. I'm feeling very bouncy today. <laughs> and um, the version a lot of people know is the one with the pig, which goes to market, to market, to buy a fat pig. Home again, home again, jiggity jig. But you can also change it to any um, animal that you happen to have. You know, if you've got some stuffed animals at home, some bath toys, or you just want to name random animals, you can do it with any of them and then just change the rhyme. Um, a bit. So it goes like this. We're going to do it first. This is going to be bear. To market, to market, to buy a fat bear. Home again, home again, jiggity jare. That's bear. And who else do I have today? I have dog. To market, to market, to buy a fat dog. Home again, home again, jiggity jog. And one more, I think. Today I have cat. To market, to market, to buy a fat cat. Home again, home again, jiggity jat. Excellent. And of course, if you're bouncing baby at the same time, if you've got you know a baby that likes to be bounced faster, you can change the tempo of the rhyme too. So it could be to market, to market, to buy a fat cat. Home again, home again, jiggity jat. <laughs> Yay, very good, very good. All right, let me put them down. And how about we try a couple of nursery rhymes? And nursery rhymes are great uh, for babies because it allows them to hear kind of the repetitive lines in a rhyme and they can listen to the sounds of uh, language. Um, and it also, they, they have the chance to um, anticipate what uh, actions are coming up. Um, for instance, if we do Humpty Dumpty, they know that the fall is gonna be coming. So let's, let's in fact start We'll start with Humpty Dumpty. So I got my baby back and yeah, we're just gonna do a little bounce with Humpty Dumpty. And when we do the had a big fall, you can either kind of go to one side or you can't see my legs, I don't think, but you can have baby kind of slide down if you kind of relax your knees, um, collapse your knees maybe, and baby can slide down a bit. Okay, so Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a big fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Let's try again. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a big fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. And if you like, you can add an extra line to that to make it more happy, <laughs> which some people like to do, in which case it would, could go like this. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a big fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again, but I can. <laughs> fantastic, fantastic. Okay. What about some hey diddle diddle? Um, I have a cat, I have a dog, I don't have a cow, so I can't completely act it out for you today, but I'll use a couple of my animals. Hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such sport. <laughs> and the dish ran away with the spoon. One more time. 
Hey, diddle, diddle. The cat and the fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such sport. <laughs> and the dish ran away with the spoon. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put those down. And I did bring a couple of activity scarves with me today. So if you've got, happen to have activity scarves at home, uh, you could bring those out now. Or if you've got just some burp cloths or some uh, tea towels or, um, well, anything like that, handkerchiefs, <laughs> anything that's kind of nice and light and not too big, uh, we could use, use those for these couple of little songs and rhymes. So we'll start with one that seems to be a lot of babies' favorites, uh, I think because of the surprise element, and that is popcorn, popcorn sizzling in the pan. So we're going to hide the scarves in our hands and have them near baby so baby can see them. And it goes like this. Popcorn, popcorn sizzling in the pan. Shake it up, shake it up. One, two, three, pop! <laughs> all right, gonna try it again. Scrunching them all up in my hands. Here we go. Popcorn, popcorn sizzling in the pan. Shake it up, shake it up. One, two, three, pop! <laughs> oh, that is, that is a good one to do. I really like that one. All right, let's do one that I like to do in the fall. And that's autumn leaves are falling down. And I'm gonna pretend that my scarves are the leaves. And this is a good one because it uh, introduces kind of different speeds, like different words for fast and slow and things like that. Um, so it's a lot of fun to do and different movements too, like twirling and things. And you can kind of make up the verses as you go, whatever you feel like doing. So it goes like this. Autumn leaves are falling down, falling down, falling down. Autumn leaves are falling down all over town. And then if they were going fast, maybe we could say that they were blowing down. Let's try that. Autumn leaves are blowing down, blowing down, blowing down. Autumn leaves are blowing down all over town. And then if they were coming down slowly one day, maybe we could do drifting. Autumn leaves are drifting down, drifting down, drifting down. Autumn leaves are drifting down all over town. And then maybe we can have a swirling down. Autumn leaves are swirling down, swirling down, swirling down. Autumn leaves are swirling down all over town. So all different ways you can do that one. Kind of a fun one, fun one to do for sure. Yeah. All right, since we have the scarves here, let's just do one more surprise one for the babies since so many of them seem to be enjoying those. So we'll do Jack in the Box. So again, I'm gonna hide the scarves. Jack in the Box. Sitting so still, will he pop up? <gasps> yes, he will. And try again. Jack in the box, sitting so still, will he pop up? <gasps> yes, he will. <laughs> Another way to do that very same one is if you have some kind of animal you want to use. Maybe I'll use the dog. You can hide the animal and make it appear. Jack in the box, sitting so still, will he pop up? <gasps> yes, he will. Last time. Jack in the box, sitting so still, will he pop up? <gasps> yes, he will. <laughs> Brilliant. 
All right, I think that's all for today. So it was great that you could join us. And if you have enjoyed this video, uh, please make sure to give us a like on Facebook or a comment would be wonderful just to know you're out there and watching it. And I hope you're all doing well. And uh, yeah, that's it for this time. So time for our goodbye song. Here we go. Goodbye, babies. Goodbye, babies. Goodbye, babies. We'll see you all next week. All right. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Bye.